Welcome to what might be our shortest episode of A Breath of Fresh Jacob yet. Thank God. Because today's question comes from, and I can't believe I'm saying this, Fluffy Butt 9000 but with one T, not two. Get your mind out of the gutter, chat. Anyway, FluffyButt9000 asks, most uncomfortable job you can think of and why it's uncomfortable. So, to give this a little more girth, I'm gonna make it a two-parter. Number one, what's the worst job? Not the most uncomfortable, but the worst jobs you can have. Uh, and that is retail and food. <laughs> retail sucks ass, and food service sucks ass. Because of one mutual thing, and that's people. You have to deal with people. And as I've told you guys many, many times, people suck. <laughs> Working in retail sucks because you gotta deal with all the people that somehow think that their brand new 12 inch vibrator suddenly doesn't hold a charge or something. Somehow that's your fault and they yell at you. Where is my refund? Unfortunately at that point, you can't tell them to go f themselves because they've already done it too many times. And that's why they're trying to get a refund. <laughs> Anyway, retail sucks because people don't really understand what it's like to work in retail. I have a lot of retail experience myself. I worked in retail for I mean, like seven years. I was a manager for a good chunk of that at GameStop. And uh, let me tell you, yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. People suck. That's what this whole episode is. People suck. But food service industry is also that as well because you get people that are constantly complaining about tiny little things wrong with their food. I need a refill faster or just people being assholes makes those jobs so, so bad. And we've had an episode about like the front end of a restaurant tipping and stuff and why that's already a nightmare. You can go check that out if you haven't seen it already. But, I mean, even in the back, you know, the cooks are working, maybe your steak isn't quite to perfection. Maybe it's at 164.5 degrees instead of 165. <laughs> Go home and cook your own damn steak, bitch. Anyway. But it's pretty obvious why those are some of the worst jobs you can have, especially since the pay sucks. But, the question here specifically says most uncomfortable job you can think of and why it's uncomfortable. I can only really give you the first thing that popped into my head, and, that, and this won't surprise you, but it's anything that you have to be on your feet all day for. Whether it's retail, or whether it's food service or anything. Anything where you're on your feet all day, or moving things, or lifting heavy things, anything that is taking constant physical action that exhausts you is super uncomfortable. Not just because you're exerting energy and, you know, that's not a comfortable thing. I mean, if exercise didn't take energy, everybody would fucking do it, right? But also because by the time you get home, you're tired as shit. So now you can't do any of the stuff you wanted to do when you got home because you're tired from that job. So that just double sucks. Uh, another thing that really sucks, not necessarily on your feet, but for the most part you'd be on your feet, is any kind of extreme weather. Whether you're out in like 10 degree Fahrenheit weather, delivering mail in the middle of December or January when it's really cold outside. If you're doing something in the blistering heat of summer, anything that has extreme weather conditions, lots of rain, you can also get sick that way. You know, if it constantly rains, you get soaked. So I would say those are definitely up there with the uncomfortable stuff. And as I mentioned with the other two, is for worse jobs, anything where you deal with people is gonna be pretty uncomfortable. I would say actually another one just, just off the top of my head that would be pretty uncomfortable is any kind of uh, delivery services. Whether that be like an UPS driver, a FedEx driver, or if you're just, you're driving like semis, anything like that, where you're transporting goods over a long distance. You're in a vehicle, not moving for long periods of time, and that isn't really good for you. Uh, it can also be very dangerous because you can fall asleep at the wheel and that kind of stuff. So, as someone who has driven a lot in my life, not professionally or anything, but I've driven my car a lot, uh, if you get tired, it is an absolute struggle to stay awake while you're driving. And I would absolutely consider that to be uncomfortable. And I love these when I do them off the top of my head instead of like scripting stuff. Not that they're scripted, you know what I mean. It's like I have like little notes, I'm like, don't forget to talk about this bullshit. But just like rattle them off the top of my head is really fun because I get to get it in real time just like you do. It's, it's fun. But yeah, as I mentioned, this is going to be a pretty short episode because while it is a, it is a good question, there's not a lot to do with it other than, hey! <laughs> working sucks, <laughs> you know. I guess that's all I got for you. I'm sure uh, I'm sure Charles will be very happy to see a nice short episode. I hope 2021 treated you well. And here's to a 2022 that's better than the last two years we've had. Although that said, 2022 is basically just saying 2022, as in 2020 as well, so I don't have high hopes for it. But we'll do what we can, and we're gonna get through it. I get to go to... Magfest in like a week. Oh god. Man, now my anxiety's flaring up because I'm on a damn panel. Whatever, anyway, I'm gonna go because it's late. It's not as late as it usually is, but it's late. So I'm gonna go and I will see you guys next year. Hey, I get to say that today. I don't get to say. I'm gonna go now, okay? I'm just gonna go. But before I do, remember that crime is the way I fly to you. I'm still in a dream.
Bye.